Dude, come on. Read some books. Watch your tail. Watch your little, okay. What is going on, guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Got the whole fam here. Um, Taylor and I have not been, and neither is dude, because he can't drive, uh, have not been to the land in a while, so we want to go check it out, make sure it's still there. And uh, Gotta make sure our flags are still there. We do have to make sure our flag is still there. By the way, if you notice on my lip right here, uh, this is not a cold sore, it is a little acne thing. And I'm a, I'm a picker, like when I get scabs and stuff, I pick it, I told you and then it to. just makes it worse, and then it has a little scab, and I want to pick that. I'm probably gonna pick it. I Stop! <laughs> ah! Good news, guys. The, uh, the property is still here. Go on, dude. Read some books. Woo! Dude! Dude! Oh! 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 Woo! <laughs> Would you just look at it? Uh, I feel like I should give you kind of like the timeline on uh, what's happening here. Maybe if you're new to the channel. Hello. You can experience stuff. Let me, uh, I want to show you something. Okay, so this is a 1.2 uh, acre piece of property that we bought. Um, that we're building our home on it's super exciting and you're at the road right now and there's a thing called a build back that here I'll talk and walk basically where the house starts being built uh, is called the build back right and at our current house it is 25 feet which is actually right here this is where you'd have to start or you could you, you couldn't start any closer but at this new property it is 75 feet so I want to give you guys an idea of how big this is right about here is where we could technically start building the house. So this would be like the front of the house, but uh, probably gonna start a little bit further back. And then this thing goes like crazy width either way. We have the lake on the, why, why am I so far away? Let me, let me, let me, let me get a little closer on. Okay, so what I was trying to say is that the way that the house sits is actually the, the same as our current lot, really nice. Our current lot is only 0.3 acre, this is a 1.2 acre. Um, so the sun will start, it'll rise over there, okay? And then it is gonna go, so it'll start in the front, like left of the house, and it'll set in the in the back, over, it'll, it'll, it'll set over there. And what's great is that means what we're gonna do is we're gonna design the house so that light comes in on the kitchen. So like the kitchen, the master bedroom will be on the, I guess if you're looking at us, it'll be on this side, the left side of the house or the right side if you're on this one. And then um, everything else will be on the other side of the house. And then when we're having pool stuff in the back, it'll be a beautiful sunset. And it'll just be so awesome. And of course, I don't know if you guys uh, know this or not, but I asked this girl to marry me. Hit him with the ring. Oh, beautiful. And uh, we marked the spot right here, which is an appropriate distance in the back. So we're gonna plant a big old tree right here. So then when our little kids are all growing up, I can be like, that's where I asked your, what's your name again? Taylor, your mother to marry me. That's what I'm gonna sound like. And then we'll all sit under the tree and look out at the big old beautiful lake. It's not really a lake, it's just a body. Dude, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. read some books. It's, uh, it's water and stuff. I think we're gonna build a dock for fishing and because I love fishing, you know? Yeah, I do it all the time. I don't know. But it's so great because then, you know, no one's gonna be right behind you. It's kind of a, I mean, it's not the world's best lake view, but it's it's our lake view. Yeah, you excited? I'm, yeah, I'm just like, this water's real high and I'm wondering where the alligators are. Yeah, this water is really high. Stop smoking dope, water. You get it? <laughs> okay. This neighborhood has been here for a bit, but uh, all, the, all the lots of land have just been kind of empty and now they're building a bunch and there's some cool homes. Check this one out, look at this. Oh, God damn. Look at that bad boy. Sheesh. Look at that. Now, uh, our home will not be as modern. No. Um, it's also not going to be as 
monochromatic inside as yours is now no yes we're very warm warm and we're Earthy. going for we're going for a, a modern farmhouse yes very I'll, put, I'll put like an image on the screen of like just like this the isn't vibe. what it's gonna look like but this is just like the vibe the vibe the vibes i'm so excited <laughs> Nice little juicy workout. I thought I'd give you a, uh, is this bright enough? I'm like, I'm like Casper, the somewhat friendly ghost. Um, when I got sick with the flu, God damn, I, are you turn your brightness on your monitor down. Um, I dropped so much weight. I got down to 158, oh my God, I'm still bright as hell out here. 158 pounds. And right now I'm like 160. So now I'm like not sure what I'm doing with my diet because my weight's super low, but I, Still have this kind of body dysmorphia thing where I, I see Tina the talking tummy over here. I don't know. What do you guys think? My shredded IFBB Pro summer shredding Victor right here. I don't know. Okay, so I might need to uh, pick this vlog up tomorrow. We are going to dinner with Joe and his family for his stepmom's birthday uh, dinner. So I might just have to pick up tomorrow. We actually hang out with Joe's parents like a lot. Is that unique to hang out with like your friends' parents a lot? I think they might actually like us more than Joe, which I could understand. Um, I'm gonna play this game, Resident Evil 4 Remake. I am loving it. Uh, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop into it. You're gonna see some gameplay. Okay, so this is Resident Evil 4, and I am loving it. I've, been, I've played all the remakes. I've played uh, Remastered Zero. I played two, three. I skipped over four, I've never played the original. I played Biohazard seven, I played Village eight, and they're, they're just so good, because there's a like good storyline. I'm trying to save the president's daughter. She escaped to a Spanish village. Don't know why she was, what she was doing there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna protect her, okay? Maxi Poo's on the case, and there's like puzzles and stuff, and there's cool guns, and there's monsters. And it's just a lot of fun. I think there's like a big monster somewhere around here. But don't worry, I got I got some good guns, no problem. See, I gotta open the circuit breakers, okay? Solving puzzles, uses my brain. Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Look at this guy, dude. You're shoot your. Why is it not hurting him? Oh no! Oh no! God, this guy's an ugly motherfucker. No. Oh no! He he cut my head off. This game's hard. So, um, you know when you hear something cool about our fridge? So we bought, now this is a top of the line KitchenAid, okay? Top of the line with the shittiest ice maker in the world, doesn't make any ice, okay? So we scheduled a technician to come out, took two weeks, they came out, they replaced the ice maker, they took this apart, replaced the ice maker, that was yesterday, still doesn't make any ice freaking ridiculous dude um check this out we are trying these little things real good chicken nuggets 20 let's show them the macros on this thing look at this 130 calories two fat four carb 23 protein but if you're if you're counting carbs there's four grams of carbs minus total fiber which is one gram so there's I really only three i don't do carbs. that shit quest used to do that all the time and i just i count carbs as carbs and then we're gonna try this we, we found this new guy g hughes um we have him for the teriyaki sauce and it's like sugar free it's only five it's only 100 calories this whole bottle it's super good everyone's been saying to try the sugar-free ketchup so we're gonna make a little dinner and uh lunch. we have to get ready lunch and we have to get ready for the Super Bowl. Super Bowl! Super Bowl! What are you doing? I'm making Super Bowl friendship bracelet signs for our Super Bowl party. It's a decoration. So you're spray, what are you doing though? I'm spray painting letters onto these plates. What, what are you spelling? In our Super Bowl era. Hopefully I don't miss Cause it. Taylor Swift. Swift! This isn't, this isn't the Chiefs and the Cow, who is it? Chiefs and the 49ers? Yes. This isn't their game, it's Taylor Swift's Super Bowl. What are you, what are you doing? I up my hand. Oh my God. I'm already fucking up. 
never mind, we are not doing uh, the spray paint thing. I tried to create this like guard to, to prevent the overspray, but it's so blowy outside that it just sucks. And so we're just gonna, no, we're just gonna paint. You tried. But it's, you, it's this is a life lesson, okay? Sometimes, you know, it, it's important that you try, but sometimes trying wasn't good enough. And it, your decision sucks. I don't like that you're talking about It's yourself. just about growing up, you know? I don't like you talking about I, yourself. Like every that. video, there's a life lesson. And sometimes trying isn't good enough, okay? Here we go. I d why is it not in a squeezy bottle? G. Hughes. Put it in a... He trademarked his name? G. Hughes is a trademark? I'm, I hope these are really good. I think we need a master cooking them. I feel like they're like... like they feel kind of like... Tough? Mine didn't feel tough. Mine felt fine. So the chicken nuggets are okay. You know what's better than okay? The sponsor of today's video are friends at Movement. You see me watch, rocking this field watch all the time and these sunglasses. Like if you need a new pair of sunglasses or you need a watch and you're not trying to like break the bank, a watch and a nice pair of sunglasses is actually like the easiest thing and probably the cheapest thing to really elevate your look and your wardrobe. I mean, these watches are like a hundred bucks. They have a ton of different options. These sunglasses are amazing. They have polarized versions in a ton of different styles. They have things for guys and girls and they're super affordable. Free shipping and you can get a discount if you use my code and link that is right in the first one in the description. I've been working with Movement for like years and years and years. I rock their stuff all the time. Great items at great prices. Check them out. Okay, we have uh moved on to using oil-based paint which i don't we all know how long that painting took to dry so i don't i don't know all right let's see it i'm not done i feel it'll dry and then i do another coat taylor this is gonna take seven hours what phrase is it again in our super bowl era we don't have enough time the super bowl's in like 36 hours it's not enough time Okay, we're gonna go on a little mission because I, I, I know what she's trying to achieve and the, the thing she's trying to do is not gonna- Why are you- Open the door! The key- Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help her. First attempt is Hobby Lobby. Fun fact, did you know that Hobby Lobby is spelled the same forwards as backwards and back- It's same- It's spelled the same forward and backwards. I know, it's crazy. And would you look at this? There's the letters right there. They're just stickers. I know you're thinking sticker, I just met her. I'm assuming there's the whole alphabet in there. So she wants to make in our Super Bowl era. How many letters of each is that? In Let me try to think, hold on. Yep, I have no idea. Um, they have five packs. I'm gonna get five. Is, will five sets of the alphabet make in our Super Bowl era? Or I have no idea. I don't know. I, it's hurt my brain. I don't. Hello, uh, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Everything okay? Ooh. I think so. Dude. 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 Come here. Oh, what is this? What is it? What is this? Sit. Hey, sit. Sit. Speak. <laughs> What are you doing? He's so cute. He's gonna... ah! <laughs> He's so cute. Why'd you kill him? Oh, thank you. Whoa. Okay, so Taylor and Sydney are uh, filming a podcast for The Girls Social. If any girls follow my channel, you gotta go support them because it's a pod for the girls, by the girls. Um, I'm filming a podcast for the boys, by the boys, tomorrow with JoJo Bean. So on Monday, there'll be a new episode. Uh, I need to clean a lot of the places in the warehouse, not necessarily on the climate controlled side, but on this one, there's a lot of these like spider webs. And I bought this like extender thing to reach up there. Look how big this, God damn, this is like, this might as well be called, they should rename this Drake's dick, man, look at this. And then I'm just gonna spin like this and get them all off. Um, I, I wanna wrap this video up. I, I, I really meant to 
uh, do something different at the end, but I feel like this video is getting a little too long and now I have some content for, uh, for the next video, if you want it. I really have been uh, diving deep into like financial stuff. And now I'm no expert, but I'm just like a normal, just like this channel is like, I'm just a normal guy figuring stuff out, trying not to be overwhelmed. And for the longest time, like just making my money work for me and investing always, I was like, what the, f what does that even mean, right? And over the past like couple months, I've really just gone down the rabbit hole and I think I've, I've discovered a lot of cool things that I think will be beneficial to a lot of people. Um, and I'd love to talk about, you know, money markets, uh, treasury bills, high interest savings accounts, where you should put your money or, or where I put my money, you know, that's just chilling. I'm not talking about like investments and stuff. This is just the money that you have chilling that you're just like, I don't want it to go away. I don't want to put it on the mattress. How can I make more money on my money? I want to like talk about that stuff, but I'm always hesitant because financial advice is one thing, but also just, you know, I just be on the internet, everyone, thinks they're an expert. And what I'm trying to do is not tell you that I'm an expert, but explain it as if you guys are a bunch of golden doodles. So that afterwards you're like, woof, oh, oh, that makes sense. Max made sense because he didn't make it confusing. So please leave some comments down below if you are interested in me kind of doing a deep dive masterclass for free on kind of like making your money work for you, how to take the money you have. And you're not gonna get rich off of this, but it's just a very smart long-term thing to do, especially while interest rates are high. If you're interested, leave a comment down below. But uh, I think that will wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed it. I am, uh, I'm trying my best here to give you one quality video a week where you know, I show you a lot of different aspects. Sometimes it's more business, sometimes more finance, sometimes it's more just life. And uh, that'll be that. Smash thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below if you're interested in, um, in financial literacy of making your money work for you. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Eat more sour strips. And ever four, dude. Woof! By the way, look at what was on Look, look, look at all that. Look at all of that.